How do you figure out how electrons around large atoms react when triggered by intense pulses of light? This is something that Ejen has been researching, and here's me trying to understand the quantum physics behind it. It's very weird when I think about this. Everything is so small, and then you give the length scales, like, yeah, a million times smaller than the human si hair size, and then it moves so fast, it's on the time scale of a billion of billion of a second. So how do you know what is going on? So you use light. So together with experimentalists, she exposed large atoms to ultra-short bursts of light to record the electron motion that was set off by the really intense laser. And what they found is that the electrons were not always being flung out of their orbit through the expected quantum tunneling mechanism. Instead, sometimes they oscillated or danced around the atom before then returning back into orbit, which seems so unusual somehow. So what this study shows is that the interactions between light and matters in this kind of extreme conditions is far more complicated than what we imagined before. Mm -hmm. I understand what you say, but I'm not quite sure if it reaches my brain. Yeah, when I say to my grandma, I just say I study how the material interact with big lasers. Like, <laughs> yeah. And she says, yeah, I understand. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.